Mr. Jofra Archer. Hey, Jeff, we'll take a seat. Well, thank you so much for coming on. What a summer for you. Yeah, it wasn't too bad, actually. <laughs> Very chill about that. So, May, uh, you made your debut uh, in the England team, mm. I believe, and then, like, the third or fourth match, you're playing in the World Cup. Was that, was that the plan? Did you know you were, you were heading in that direction? Nah, actually, it wasn't supposed to be playing in the beginning. Um, they did a provisional squad a few weeks before, and I wasn't in that. And a lot of people had a, a lot to say about that. Yeah. And uh, probably 10 days later, I was in the, the actual squad. But, but the fact this is the first time in history that we've done this, the pressure must have been momentous, I would have thought. Um, not really, you know. Um, the... <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, no. But... Yeah, just win the World Cup for the first time, it's fine. <laughs> but then it came down to this, this thing, the Super Over, which I didn't know much about that aspect of cricket. You, presumably you knew about the Super Over. Could you explain that to us for those who don't necessarily know? Maybe, I mean, in particular... Like I my thought... last relationship was Super Over. <laughs> <laughs> it's Super Over now. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? No. But I know, I know you must know cricket, because in Australia it's a big sport as well. But Jason, you're presumably... Do you know much about cricket? Nah. <laughs> it's not really a big in America. Mm. So how would you explain to Jason what the Super Over was? Yeah, please. Because it looked, it looked intense, like, really intense. So um, if both the scores are, are tied at the end of the game, then you get another over to score some more runs, and then you try to beat it. So it's pretty much... Extra time in other sports. Yeah, and over is six balls. You get to bowl six balls. And, of course, uh, Joffa got called out to bowl. And, once again, was that, was that nerve-wracking or were you as cool in the moment when that happened? Because now we are talking about specifically the moment where this is make or break, this is win or lose. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, well, I didn't even know I was going to do it at yeah. first. You know, um, when we batted and then it was our turn to bowl, I looked around the changing room and... None of the other bowlers put the bowling boots on, so... <laughs> uh, I went to the captain and asked him, uh, uh, am I bowling this because then I have to go get ready? He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just waiting on you to, to relax a little bit. So I was like, yeah. OK, cool, thanks. That moment when you knew you won, though, that must have been quite some feeling. Well... <laughs> <laughs> nah. I mean, oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. You were so happy, you were levitating. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I learned to do that throughout the tournament. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, um, no, it was a really, really good feeling. And, um, the crow were boisterous the whole day, like, literally 10 o'clock in the morning straight till then again finished at, like, 6. Yeah. You know, and it feel really good to have the whole country behind us. Yeah. You went out, I guess, to celebrate afterwards? Nah, we were on curfew. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the team, the team is on curfew every time we have our English shirt on. No, but even when you won? Well, we went back to the team hotel, so we were out, but still weren't out, if you get me. So you were out, but not out, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sem Semi-out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>